Hey, quilters, I'm Pam Hiller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Bodker, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's show called Cut Like a Butterfly, Quilt Like a Bee. Today we are super excited to be relaunching the classic Go Butterfly 9-inch pieced finish die. I'm excited about this. That's right. Now we have so much fun planned for today's show. And a little later we'll be joined by a special guest, Emily Bailey, We'll be discussing crumb quilting. She's the queen, the queen of crumb quilting. She is. I love she that. She has a crumb jar. I know. Now I have a crumb jar. I know the things we Emily learned. had one. <laughs> it's going to be great to have her back on our show and hear all about this amazing quilting technique. It certainly will. So let's begin today's show. We shall. All right. As always, we have a great. Uh, exciting event in store for you. We have great prizes. We have an exciting prunk, uh, trunk show. And project ideas, yes. so many. So many. And of course, there's a special offer. That's right, let's not wait any longer. Here's a look at our now permanent Go Butterfly piece, nine inch finished die. Like a breath of spring air, the Go Butterfly pieced die is here to spread its wings and enhance your quilting projects. Unlike other AccuQuilt Butterfly applique dies, this is a block on board or bob die that has all the pieces necessary to create a charming pieced nine inch finished block on one die board. In fact, you can cut two four color nine inch blocks in just one pass through any go cutter. Let your creativity soar with piece blocks in everything from subtle pastels to bold, bright batiks. Screen printed letters on the die board will help you assemble these blocks with ease. No curved pieces or Y seams needed. Think about pairing this block with others that finish at nine inches, like the nine inch cube or other bob dies like the glorified nine patch or cross canoes to create pillows, quilts, wall hangings and more because at AccuQuilt we help you cut time so you can quilt more. All right, quilters, having this stunning die added to our permanent collection is so wonderful. And I'm glad that you and I, we've been able to work with it even yes, more. That's right. And now more quilters can use it too, especially when they take advantage of the special bundles that we have available. So true. Quilters, if you missed out during its Die to Try launch, we have special bundles available for the Go Butterfly Pieced nine inch finish die. That's right, and to get your order in, open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and start your order. That way you won't miss a minute of our show. All right, the first bundle we have is the Go Butterfly Piece 9 inch finish die with a 6 by 12 cutting mat. You, oh, t I'm sorry, 6 by 24, there you go. There you you go. receive the Butterfly Piece die, which finishes to 9 inches, and a 6 by 24 cutting mat. There you go. We also have the Go Block On Board Favorites 9 inch die bundle. Now this one comes, of course, with our 9 inch finished piece butterfly, but also the Go Crossroads die, the Go Starry Path. One of my goes. Yes, the Go Setting Triangles that finish at nine inches and two cutting mats, 10 by 24 and six by 24. Now, if you want to mix and match nine inch blocks, this is the bundle for you. Oh, it is because it comes with those setting triangles. The setting triangles, yep. so you can set them on point. And since it's Tuesday, we're gonna give you double reward points when you place your order today. You can use these points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Now you can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, just check out the store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And if you don't have an AccuQuilt retailer near you, make sure you let your local quilt shop know that you'd love to see our Go products featured there. That's a great idea. Yeah. All right, let's get started by taking a look at the die and talking about how it works. Okay, so I've taken all our little pieces off, so we'll talk okay. about it. So first of all, Erica, it's on a six by 24 cutting, or a six by 24 die board, so it's gonna fit through all of our cutters. Including the Go Me. Including the Go Me. I'm not gonna let you talk until you I find know, your words again. I know, I don't know where again. all my words are gone. <laughs> I haven't talked that much this morning. All right, and we've screen printed all the shapes, yes. right? Yes. And that's gonna help you keep track of your pieces. Yes. Now, obviously these are for the wings. 
What's the technique we want to make sure? So these are directional shapes. So we're cutting with solid so it doesn't, doesn't matter. But if you are using a printed fabric, you want mirror images. So you're going to have to cut with half your fabric facing up and half of it facing down. So fan folding would be the easiest way to do that. Right. Otherwise, you're only going to have otherwise, half a butterfly. Otherwise, you will only have right wings on your butterflies. And we have an idea for that, but that's not probably what you want to do. Right. Okay, and then this is my favorite part. So look at all these great sizes of half square triangles. Yes. You know, we talk about not only did the bob dies make the block that you want, right. but it also has other shapes that make, you know, squares or rectangles right. or those kind of things. So I have a little tip, a little pro tip here. Um, on my die on the back of it so then I don't lose it because you yes. can write on it. Did you know yes. that? <laughs> you, can. you can with a Sharpie. Um, I write shape D and what size that square finishes to. Oh, that's and a good idea. C and e. Because sometimes I'm kind of looking for maybe an odd size yes. square that doesn't yes. come in our cube. And this is a great way to do that. Sure. And just right when you get the die, just look at it. It's right. going to tell you all the shapes. And then two rectangles. This is the skinny body. Mm hmm and this is just the rectangle that makes the skinny body long. Yes. All right, so let's lay some fabric. We're gonna do our, um, we're gonna do solids. Okay. So we don't have to worry Great. about that. There's our wings, our two wings. wings. Now, C, D, E, and F are all white. And they're all, that. so that's your background fabric and they're all grouped together so that you can easily go ahead and get that cut without wasting right. any fabric. Yes, and on the pattern, it will tell you how to subcut your That's fabric. That's right. Look, and look. So Emily is gonna talk about crumb quilting, but I'm gonna tell you, this is such a great die to just bust up your scraps. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Right? If you're looking for something that's gonna motivate you to bust up your scraps, this is a great die to do that. And uh, we need a six by 24 cutting mat. Erica, people ask us all the time, can they use a larger mat? You know, if you do, you're going to risk sh uh, some shimmy or shuffle. Shimmy. Shimmy through the cutter. So you're probably not going to get as clean a cut as you would otherwise. So we don't recommend using the larger mat. No, nope. and we're going to use our go big because we can. Right, because it's just sitting here waiting for us. And besides that, that's the cutter that Pam and I use every day at home. Every day. People ask me that a lot. Um, they say, <laughs> no, Pam, really? And I'm, every day. Much. Yeah. I feel like I quilt and so cut and so every day. every day. Yeah. yeah. Give it some loves. Get rid of that static. We're going to slide this mat. Don't lift. All right. Let's lay out our pieces. All right. Now, again, remember, we've got our wings that are going to be those mirror images. Yep, so we'll build it down here so, so just I can get a good shot. And so I can reach it. Yes. Okay, and these are the half square triangles that come here to the corner. Now remember, we've um, cut off the dog ears, right? There's that quarter inch yes. seam allowance. So yes. when you look at this, you're going to say, Pam, it doesn't work, but really it does. But really it does. Okay. And we found that if we pressed our seams open, it worked better. Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. Okay. Yep. And we'll put the body in the middle, that's little skinny body. Yes. Now there's a trick. <laughs> and there I, is a trick. There is a trick. And the and first time around, to, did you miss the trick? Yes, and you have to make sure you put your wings the right way. Yes. Was that not the right way? It, it was not. not the right way. I know. No. There we go. I've made a couple. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna know that this is the right trick because see this rectangle here? Mm -hmm. It's gonna line up and it's gonna match the seam yes. for the bottom. That's how you know you've done it correctly. Yes, there you go. Okay, and then these are the bigger half square triangles. Right. So right here. I'm gonna put one over there yep. for you. I sure will. Right here. You need two of them, yep. dose of them today. Yep. And I'm gonna give you two smaller ones. Two smaller ones, cause those are gonna go over here. We cut lots, cause it's easy to do that. 
you know, our dies can cut up to six layers of cotton fabric in one pass. So, so why wouldn't you? Why right? would you not? Right? Okay, so look at us, ta-da, making the butterfly block so easy. Again, we're going to tell you to cut and test, sew a test block. Oh, absolutely. Right? Especially absolutely. to make sure your pieces are going the right direction. And don't worry about it not looking like it lines up perfectly here. Seam allowances, right? Because those quarter inch seam allowances are all built in. Right. And you're going to see how they go together when we you start lining these up because those specialized dog ears, look at that. Little AccuQuil to innovation so there. If you line them up, if you've got it laid out and your dog ears aren't lining up, that's your little clue to go back. Yeah, make sure you have your uh, make sure they're or your triangles laid out place. right. And this is such an easy block. Quilters of all skill levels can Absolutely, make it. absolutely. Now you want to be sure to check out the product page at AccuQuilt.com. That's where you can download the detailed cutting and block assembly directions that include that coloring page. Plus, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, there's a video with the lovely Erica and me sewing the block together correctly. That's right. Plus, <laughs> we've got one more thing, and I've got an example of it over there somewhere, but it I may got be it. buried. We have free downloadable embroidery to make the little antennas for your butterfly. Look, Look at, at that. This. Isn't that cute? But yeah. don't worry if you don't have an embroidery machine, right, Pam? Right. For example, the block looks darling without it, but you could right. also make them by doing hand embroidery. You could use a fabric marker. It's just all up to you. Absolutely. But that's kind of fun. Now, speaking of more things by hand, quilters coming I up. Did. Remember, we've got Miss Emily Bailey joining us with fun ideas for this tie. Oh, I can hardly wait. It's <laughs> so fun. All right, after showing off this tie, Erica, I think we should give one away. Mm. All right, I love that idea. Okay, our giveaways are one way that we like to say thank you to you for registering for our shows and for being a part of our AccuQuilt family. Today's lucky winner of a Go Butterfly Piece 9 inch finished die is, drum roll please, Cindy G of York, South Carolina. Congratulations, Congratulations. Cindy, you're going to love it. All right, quilters, now today is all about transforming your quilts, just like how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. Oh, it's beautiful. So we want to know, how do you change up your quilts to make them different? We don't have a voting poll today, so let us know in the comments section wherever you stream the show. Yeah, just type it in. I'm excited to see. Yes. Now, quilters, we know how butterflies come in tons of different colors and have different appearances. But did you know that there is a quilting style that can make any quilt look as unique as butterfly wings? That's right. And it is called crumb quilting. Exactly. And our special guest today knows everything about crumb quilting. She does. Emily Bailey is a scrap quilter, designer, and teacher. She grew up in a family of artists and makers where she was encouraged to create and develop her talents. I love that. Yeah. She thought she would be a fashion designer, but after the birth of her three sons, she discovered quilting was more her style. She loves being a part of the quilting community, and she knows wherever she goes to teach and mingle with quilters, she's going to have instant friends. She was our instant friend she when we was. first met her. I she love her. Is. All right, Emily has been designing for over 20 years. She's published in Love of Quilting, McCall's Quilting, and Simply Quilts. She teaches through her website, YouTube, and at live events. All right, thank you for joining us today, Emily. Emily. There she is. Love hey, the glasses. We are Thank so happy you. to have you back. Oh, I'm just thrilled to be here. You guys are so awesome and so kind to have me. Thank you. And has not summer gone by so quickly? Oh, oh you have no idea. It's <laughs> been a while. Are your boys back in school? So my boys have all, well, I only have one. He's in his last year of college, and the okay. other two have graduated. And my daughter gets married Friday, so. Oh, Woo! thank you for being Woo! on our show on a Tuesday. Yes. Oh, oh, my. All right, Emily, everybody wants to know, what exactly is crumb quilting? Tell us about it. So crumb quilting is taking those tiny little bits that you paid as much as you paid for with your yardage <laughs> and creating yardage with it. So you just sew it together, kind of like log cabin rail fence, just mix match all together. And then you just get this unique fabric that's so fun to play with. Oh, okay, so I, I, have love a, that. I have a question because that's kind of the process. You, know, you just cut it all and sew it all together. How do you press it? I press to the path of least resistance. 
Okay, I can it's live like with that. Life. It's like life. <laughs> it's like life, yes. <laughs> okay. okay. I can live with that. Okay, so keep that in mind. Path of least resistance. Yes. I like that. Yes. Okay, so Emily, what are you currently working on? So currently I have a workshop that I have that I'm doing. It's called Three Strategies for Creating Amazing Quilts. In the workshop, we go over um, color, value, movement in your quilts so that, um, yeah, you can create amazing quilts with all of those elements. Okay, oh. and we, we'll talk about how we can get yes. sign up for that, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about the quilt behind you and the blocks you made. Yes. And it's a little wonky. Uh, yeah, because you got to embrace the wonk. But, um, so. <laughs> That's my new, my new tagline, embrace, embrace the, the wonk. wonk. We'll put a hashtag in front of it and go. There you go. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, I had so much fun with this butterfly die. It was a ball to play with. I made my crumb fabric and I would put it on there. So every wing is different because the crumb fabric is always unique. Um, and then I did, I framed them with a wonky frame. I have a YouTube video for that. If you want to learn how to do that, it's a no waste method to create a wonky frame around a block. So that made it so the butterflies kind of flew in different directions. Wow. I okay, I gotta love it. Will you remind me of that? Well, yes, okay, we so have I to watch, watch that. It's okay. afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this here, is, we can't look that's it. what happens when we're focused on something. <laughs> we 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 bend into the screen. Yeah. All right. Now, so do you have any tips for our quilters when you, about using crumb quilting with the butterfly die? So I only put um like I don't I put like well, with this one, I put like two because it's the um, reverse of right. the other. And because you do have seams in your crumb mm -hmm. fabric, and so you're getting extra layers in there. So sometimes when I'm doing it, but this, because it was a reverse and I was wanting two at a time and I can't do four, sometimes I'll put three, but it won't work with the butterfly. One. Right, oh, right, because sure. you should just do, okay. Right. Okay. We just pull the rectangle over on that. Right. Um, large wing of crumb fabric. And then I just cut out the rest of the pieces like you normally would. Okay. And when you're done with the fabric from the crumb quilt that you cut out, do you add it to a new crumb quilt? Yeah. yeah. You just keep using it. Brilliant. You're brilliant. Yeah. All right. Is it true you have a book all about crumb quilting? Because we for sure need to get this. Yes. Yes, I do have a quilt, a book. It's called Crumb Quilts. Um, it came out in September. It gives all the methods and of creating the fabric, uh, the crumb fabric, and then putting it into crumbs. So there's ways to do applique, there's piecing, all different ways that you can use the crumb fabric. And where can we get it? We have a little um, scan, you can scan it here, but you can get it on your website. Is that true or where else? Yeah, you can get it in my Etsy shop, and then you can also get it on Amazon. Okay. So in my Etsy shop, you'll get a signed edition, but if you live outside the U.S., my signature's not worth the shipping, so buy it off Amazon. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. totally going to order from your Etsy shop <laughs> so I get a signed copy. Absolutely. Okay, and what else are you working on right now? Oh, yeah, you told us about your workshop. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about it and how we can... You said it was Find like it. a flexible attendance schedule. So you can choose your time um, to come. So there's one later today at one. There's one tomorrow evening. Okay. And then um, then I have the wedding. So we're going to wait until next. <laughs> you should stop for, for you. a minute. Now, the vast cost. This is so expensive to join this. Right. Which is it, Emily? Yeah, this is a free workshop just to get a taste of working with me. And if you like what you see there, then there's an opportunity to apply what you learn in the workshop in a course. It's okay, a four -week. that's great. All right. Okay, it sounds like a beneficial and educational workshop for all of our quilters. I think tomorrow night I might yeah. sit in my yeah, jammies and watch, and watch that and watch Auntie M. <laughs> Emily, as you know, we like to have our audience participate in our shows. 
And today we're asking them how they like to change up their quilts to make them different. So we're gonna ask you the same question. So, of course I play with my scraps because it will always be different, especially with the crumb fabric being unique. Right. And then I do like to maybe bring in like a wonky element so that it, it's not a traditional kind of look, mm -hmm. just something to pull in maybe a more modern thing and combine it with the tradition so that we keep both elements of the great tradition that we have going, but we can tweak it and make it our own. I love it. Okay, okay. I love that. so I'm totally gonna look for no waste wonkiness. Yes. I'm excited. Yes. Thank you so much, Emily, for joining us today on this busy wedding week. Congratulations yes. to your daughter and to your family. Thank you. And thanks Thank again you. for coming on our show. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. It's always so good to see and chat with you. All right, bye-bye. Bye, Emily. Bye-bye. Okay, craziness. She's craziness. having a live show on oh, Wednesday and a gosh. wedding on Friday, but go that for it. That is crazy. Okay, so I love the look that Emily got with mm -hmm. her crumb quilting, right? And she's an expert after right, all. Right, right, absolutely. But if you are not quite ready to jump with both feet into crumb quilting, but you like that scrappy look, we've got another idea for you. We do, you and I just use... Gotta Kim's find the looking die. around for a die. You can use the Go Crazy Quilt six inch finished die to make crazy quilt squares and then cut them on the die. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it here so we can talk yes. about it. Okay, so this is, uh, we have two versions of this. We have it for the Go and the Go Big. Mm -hmm. This is the smaller, this is the six inch one, right. which it's is gonna... perfect for this die, for working right. with this die. So this is perfect for layer cakes. Yes. And you can always cut up to six layers, but with this die, we tell you to cut only five. five. How come? Well, then you're gonna shuffle them and they're gonna turn out right. It's also because we've got a lot of blades going on. We do, we do. And they're screen printed, right? So for easy placement. Yes. And when I first made um, blocks in this die, I was not as efficient as I am now. Yes. So what I did was I took a photocopy of this okay. die. Okay. And I put it over here so it's your die, you can make a photocopy of it. Right. And then I cut five layers at a time and stacked all the A's and the B's. I stacked over Perfect. my favorite. And then I shuffled my fabric. Yes. Right? Then I could cut all my pieces at one time. Yes. And still keep track of them. Yes. And then when you sew it together, you're gonna sew B to C and F and E, you know, there are D to E and F and G and H and I. So I did that. Yes. And then I love to chain piece. Right. Now, I'm gonna tell you to press your seams open. Yes, okay? yes. Because we don't really embrace the that, wonkiness. That, that not, not with this. Not with this. So right. you used that and you made a couple of blocks. So we, we wanna look at what I those did. blocks look here. like. Oh. We still have butterfly pieces. We have butterfly pieces. All right, just. Okay, we're gonna put them right over here. All right, so I did. I made a couple of blocks for you. And again, you could use the Go Big version mm -hmm. of this as well, okay? But I think with cutting the small shape in the wing, mm -hmm. this one's gonna give you more right. different. Now, here's my trick. So when they go together, they're gonna go like this, right? So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I don't have any pieces that are the same. Oh, touching. Right, right, so like, yeah, right? So here so we go. So we're gonna cut one right side up and one right side down. Right, and then B, um, we're just gonna cut with just regular fabric. Okay, here. that makes sense. Okay, because that's what Emily did. Right, she did. And I noticed that her, her lower, her bottom wings were matching. Those were solid yes. fabrics or prints. Um, I'm and sure out of her scraps because we know how Emily works, right? Yes, so I think then, that's so fun. And I love the wonky. I can't wait to look that up. And have you started sewing your crumb pieces together? Have you made crumb pieces? I quilts? have. I have made some pieces. I've made some pieces to try playing with. I haven't made a whole quilt yet. I've just been kind of playing with it. But some my jar, my jar overfloweth. So yes. All it's right, about time to do something with it. I don't lift. Okay, so let's lay it out and show those butterfly pieces. Okay. This is gonna be pretty. Oh, I should have oh, done green here. Look at Do it this. on the green mat. Okay. Thank you. Oh, this is so, <laughs> so pretty. I just saw that. Uh, so wait, you've got it here. 
No, I keep putting it backwards. You do. What's happening there with know. you? There you go. You don't have words and I'm thinking backwards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so look, look at how, how pretty that is. gorgeous that is. I just really, oh really gosh. liked the idea of this because um, oftentimes when I make uh, quilts using my uh, die here with the crazy quilt, sometimes mm -hmm. they're orphan blocks. Right. So this is a great way to kind of use those up. But oh, yeah. again, if you have layer cakes, great way well, to Yeah, because if you took orphan blocks or test blocks and cut them up, you wouldn't have any idea even what they were. No. They no. kind of look like a crumb quilt, right? It's kind of fun. Hmm. So when you go to cut your butterfly wings, remember those seam allowances and counting your layers. And Emily brought that up. So right. no more than probably two layers with the crazy quilt blocks. If you cut three, then how are you going to remember? Yeah. And there's math involved. That's right. All right. So once your wings are cut, you would sew the block together, follow the block assembly instructions, mm -hmm. and really think about accenting those quilt look with some embroidery touches, Oh, right? that'd be fun. It's a great chance to use some of those decorative stitches on your sewing machine. Um, you know, back in the day, crazy quilts had different stitching. Though. Right. Around the pieces so that you'd see that and little, little embroidery things you could use buttons and and trims you could really have a lot of fun with that okay now another way to change up your butterfly can we bring our block yeah, there we I go, got him. is to add some applique shapes to the wings and when we first launched this die we talked about some shapes that would be fun like the small circles die yes we have we've the got one here yep um the oh, heart yep here we're gonna cut some we're here gonna in a cut second. some so here's the circles that has multiples on it. Right, this starts with a half inch and three quarter inch, one inch and one and a quarter inch. Yep, so I'm gonna leave this out here because we're gonna come these. Hearts. Hearts, that little heart would work. Even the medium heart would fit. It would. Stars. Stars, the ghost star side, that would be a lot of fun. That, that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, I'll oh, give you this. Yep. And do you know what this is? That is Crazy Petals. Yes. So look at how fun those shapes are. Those would be really fun. You could arrange those and give mm -hmm. it that kind of monarch look. Right. And then um, I liked this one because I felt like these were really fun flowers. These are flower bunch. Yes. We have lots of flower dyes. Yes, we do. Um, I kind of like this. I was going to cut one out and see if it was big enough or if it was too big, but you could certainly use these. And, and we the have some smaller ones. fabric that we're going to cut from. Yes. Yes. And then this one, we're going to see it on a um, quilt. Is it the one behind us? Indeed it is. Indeed it is. This is the feathers die. So now, <laughs> took me a hot minute to look at this. Um, they're different, right? There's three here yes. and three here, and they're different. So here again, because this is a directional shape and these are facing one direction, if you want pairs of them facing each other, oh, here, we're you would need to some. fan fold your fabric. We're going to cut some so we can see how that okay. All works. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, so we have some, let's cut some. because Oh, and can... there's the round flower. That would yes. be good too. So round flower. It has flower. stems and leaves, which it we'll does. talk about. But we could have some fun with that one too. We found so many really fun dyes that you could just use with this. Now, here's my trick, Erica. Yes. Um, I'm using my Go Big so I can cut these super fast because I can cut two dyes in one pass through yes. the cutter. Okay. okay, so we've already prefused our fabric. Hey, on our website, don't forget, we have all of the different kinds of fusible and we have irons and we have the cutting mats, all the fun things. All the fun things? Mm-hmm. Here, I wanna try. You can do whatever you want. I know, I know we can. There's no dye police. There isn't, we'll try this flower. I'm gonna take these off real quick. Here, I'll play with those. Okay, you and then what cutting. am I cutting there? Uh, you were cutting that flower. You wanted to see how that flower I, I know, but I think that one's too big, so it's okay. We'll cut two That's, of them. Oh, okay. And then we can see which one works. Okay. And then we'll do this one. I kind of like this go, little sweetie. star one. Okay, should we so cut two of them? So let's cut, this is already fused, so I can lay it on my die, however. Yeah, here. there we go. Okay. okay. And again, I can cut two in one pass because we can. Because we can. Hold on, All right, so here are the feathers, and these are the ones that we cut that were kind of matched. 
yes, sets. So you can see that those are going to face the same direction. We could put them up here. And this is our huge pro tip, by the way. Um, when we're done cutting, if we have big chunks of fusible leftover that's already pre-fused, boy, I keep that. Oh, I do too. Right? I do too. Because like this was projects that we made before and we now have little pieces of... That's right. Fusible. Emily was over the other day filming at my house, filming my uh, sewing room at my house for a oh, TikTok. there you go. And I showed my basket that where I have all of my little yeah. pieces See, like this. That's what you need. Okay. Here we Let's go. Let's look at these flowers. So I think this one's too big, but try it. Try it in C. It's too big there. No, Ooh, we could, but I kind of do like just that. Kind of fit. It fits up here. That looks kind of fun. I like that a lot. It looks kind of fun. Let's look at this one. And we've used cotton, but you could use wool or felt or metallic fabric or shimmy fabric. All of those oh, things. Oh, sure. Okay. Did we have enough fun building our... We did. We did. Here, there wait. There. There we go. Here, you can have another circle. Okay. Okay, Fun butterflies. Times. What a great project to do with your kids or your grandkids. Oh, yes. Um, you know, cut up, make a whole bunch of butterfly blocks and cut out a whole bunch of embroidery shapes or applique shapes. That would work too. There you go. So many fun things. Okay, leave it right there. We'll know. Okay. Thank there you. you. All right, so to see some of the ways that you can change up your quilting projects, you want to subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. Uh, by subscribing to the blog, it's just another way to discover more inspiration, like what you see on our show. There's new blog posts every week. Today afternoon is yes. our blog this week for innovative ways to use dyes that already you already own and maybe inspire you to get some others. Here, I'll take all of these. Will you take all of these? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, yes, uh, today's blog post coming out a little later today is written by go-getter Lori Miller. Lori was on the show with us last She's week. She's so fun. And this is all about how she set her butterfly box on point to create an adorable scrappy throw quilt. So you wanna check that out for sure. And our blog has exclusive patterns. So if you wanna see the patterns, sometimes you can only find them on our blog. That's right. A lot of our blog posts recommend different fabrics, fabric selections to use for projects. But on our show, we love to have fabrics that we like to give away That's to lucky right. viewers. We certainly do. Now, quilters, our friends at Riley Blake are helping us with this party by sponsoring it, and they knew just the fabric to send us. Look at this. We've got these two lovely fabric selection to okay, share. Okay, so first of all, they have butterflies on them. Butterflies and uh, breast cancer breast awareness, cancer awareness ribbons. ribbons. I love and the ginghams. Fun, fun little florals. Fun. Aren't these great? I love this. I love the gingham. And this one says courage and hope. Courage and hope and faith and love. I love it. Okay. We're going to give it away, though. All the butterfly goodness. Yep. All right, quilters. The first winner of a Riley Blake fabric selection is drum roll, please. Barbara D. from Waterloo, Iowa. Congratulations. Congratulations. She's down the street from us. It is. It is. And the winner of the second selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Kathy B. from Hugo, Minnesota. Congratulations. I wonder if it's cold yet in Hugo. I don't know. It actually cooled off here in Omaha. Yes. I was rather ready for it. The balmy 64 say. at 5 yes.30 this morning. Huge shout out to Riley Blake for sponsoring today's show and providing us with beautiful butterfly fabric. We know our quilters are going to love using this fabric to make their quilts. That's right. Now, quilters, don't forget, but we do have those special bundles available for you. We do. The Go Butterfly Piece 9 inch finished dye with a matte bundle is just what you need to get started making gorgeous butterfly quilts. And the Go Block On Board Favorites 9-inch die bundle is a great deal for quilters who love 9-inch finished blocks or for quilters who want to try some out. Two of those right there are, we haven't talked about them in a long time, Starry Path and Crossroads. Fabulous Some dies. of our favorites. Plus, we have double reward points right. that you can earn on any purchase today. That's right. And those double reward points can be used on future AccuQuilt orders. So you don't want to wait. You want to take advantage of that offer. All right, quilters, we are just getting started with ideas for this die. Now, when we first launched the die, one of our experts came up with this brilliant idea of making a half 
butterfly block. Yes, and that's right. And I made one. She did. Okay. And we just loved it. So what we did was I used the Go Big Crazy Quilt. Oh, I had okay. an orphan block to make that. And then our four and a half inch strip die. Yes. I just cut a four and a half inch strip and then sub cut it to nine and a half inches. How clever is that? All right, so use those strip dies, make it into a square. Then it looks like it's fine because butterflies from the side, you just see the one side. Yeah, they're just fun, okay? That's perfect. So we talked about some ways that maybe we could decorate this That's other right. side That's of right. the block, right? And our quilting head started to go a little crazy. You witnessed that a little earlier. But we were thinking about ways to use that half block. And I like the idea of using the ghost stems and leaves block yes. to make branches for your butterflies to flutter onto. I know, I think that's great. And you could always, we're gonna just cut with some cotton. Yes. But you could use wool or felt to really add some dimension to your projects. And you don't have to make big projects. It doesn't have to be a bed quilt every time you make a project. It doesn't. It can be something small, it can be um, pillow covers for your couch pillows. It can be table, table runners. runners. It can be wall hangings, placemats. I need some new placemats for my kitchen for fall. Yes. It can be so many different things. So this just... is fun. Now, all of the applique shapes that we've shown you will all fit through all of our cutters, including yes. that go me, okay? So give us some love, slide, don't lift. Okay, I want you to know that every time after we talk to Emily, I think, oh, fine, we'll save this fabric. We'll make creme quilts. Yes. Okay. There you so go. Look how cute this is to have, you know, a little scrappy branch. Look at how fun that is. Look how fun. Our little butterfly is. Here, I like this branch better. You like that branch? I do. Well, it I is do. a little bit more branchy looking. It is branchy looking. Is there such a word as branchy looking? <laughs> there is now. I I play Scrabble a lot, so I feel like that's a great one. And then it would be really fun to just add other things to it as well. You could add leaves and look at how fun that is. Look how fun. Oh, that is a good branch. That is. We made, All right. Look, Pam, we made a branch. I imagine that. <laughs> okay, and it did not take long for our quilting heads to go from butterflies to bees and Ooh. using them together. So we're gonna show you this one because this is super fun. Yes. This is our Here, let me get critters die. Yes. And it has a butterfly and a bee and a dragonfly. Yes. I think quilters don't realize we have a dragonfly die. Uh, I, I agree, yeah. I agree. And sometimes when I make dragonflies, because I think the wings should be different than the mm -hmm. body, I cut them and then I just cut my little body out. Oh. Well, that's clever. Because there's no dye police. That's okay. clever. So okay. we have free downloadable embroidery for that critter's dye. So here, there are three different stitches you can choose from. We're going to show you all three. So this is the blanket stitch. It's mm -hmm. just a real basic stitch. This is the motif stitch, and it's really kind of feathery and decorative and fun. And then this is the satin stitch. It's a really tight tight stitch. So this is great if it's something that's going to get washed a lot. Because today we are cutting like a butterfly, quilting like a bee. That's right. Okay. Okay. All right, now, but wait, there's more. There is. So we also have some paid downloads that you can purchase. These are from the Go Critters Number no. 1 Embroidery by V-Stitch Designs. Look at how fun this is. And I think it would be so cool to have a quilt made of pieced butterflies. Yes. And then in the centers, because we, we'll talk about that eight inch square or nine yes. inch square, then you could embroider and applique. Because if you already have the critters die, then you can like mix it up. Oh yeah. I love it. Okay, and then here's our B, right? Are these from our good friends at V-Stitch? Yes, those are too. My V-Stitch ladies are my favorite because they made Pam's pickup <laughs> truck. They made her a present. Yes, oh they my did. gosh. Okay, so look at how pretty this is. It is, is with very the pretty. Antennas. Look, the and bee's the got bee. a little heart. He's for Valentine's yes. Day, but he could be oh, for any for time. For any time. Yeah. Now we also have some Go Critters embroidery designs by Marjorie Busby. Look at these. So we have the Go Critters embroidery design by Marjorie. We also have it available on a CD by Marjorie Busby. Okay, so note that Marjorie's is available either as a download or as a CD. Right. So be sure to order the version you want that's gonna work with your embroidery machine. That's right. 
But I have to admit that we have a favorite bee embroidery design. It's true. That isn't a bee at all. Yes. It is, you ready? The Go Gnome Bee Man. Look at that. And it is such a cute isn't embroidery that adorable? design. adorable? It uses the Go Gnome die. It does. And the best part, this is a free downloadable embroidery. It was designed by our very own team. And I just love it. I put it on a yellow apron for a Christmas gift and it was so cute. We stitched it out, good job. Hey, Will and our team did yes. this for us. Thank you, Will. Yes, we love it. So gnomes can be all the things. That's right, they can. Gnome for all seasons. All right, quilters, at the start of the year, we introduced our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World, One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics, who I love, with Baby Lock as our sponsor, who I also love. Together, one person from our team is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. That's right. And you and I are doing it the last of the year. The last of the year. So these donations have been have been so lovely. And the yeah. charities that the participating quilters have chosen to donate them to have been such fantastic choices. They have. Now be sure to visit our website for details on how you, our viewers, can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. You can also follow hashtag quilt the world 2022 on social media to see fellow quilters donations all throughout the year. So just the other day on social media, I was reading that a quilter has, you know, all of her kids and her grandkids all have quilts and quilts and quilts, and she had all these extra quilts and she wasn't sure what to do with them. And I said, oh my gosh, go to Quilt the World yes. 2022 and donate them to the charity of your choice. Yes, that's yeah, that'd right. Be great. Quilters, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to see our behind the scenes videos and antics. We always have a lot of fun yeah. and we love to share our AccuQuilt community's quilts and your stories on our social media pages. So be sure you're following us. Okay, so we've looked at the Go Butterfly Peace Die yes. and some different ways to work with it. So let's look at pairing it with some other dies. All right, so do we have our die? We have it all. Yes. Okay. So since it finishes to nine inches, let's start with the nine inch cube. Well, that's a natural pairing. So here is. I'm totally leaving our little piece. Totally. Of so here are four of shape number one, the basic shape. Yes. From our Go Mix and Match nine inch finish cube. And look, it's the exact same size. This would be really fun to alternate with. Right. You could take some of these applique. It's just in my quilting head. Was Thank it? you for that. Yes. Or you could even take um, maybe a butterfly off of the critter's die oh, and yes. applique it on there. Yes. So totally there's another look. So if you added the nine inch companion sets then, the companion set corners and angles, there you've already got over 216 blocks that you can work with this butterfly. And where would I find those free patterns? Oh, on our website. AccuQuilt.com. But as they say, wait, there's more. Let's think. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, so let's think about other nine inch black on board dies that finish to nine inches like the Go the Glorified, Glorified nine, nine Patch. Patch. It's one of Erica's favorites. It is. Okay. So of course I thought about it first. Okay. So look, it's also nine inch finished. Right. And it would be a stunning combination. Right. Now don't worry, yes, there's a curve. It's a gentle curve. There are notches. This Did you goes together teach about so this? fast. No, the end of August. Oh. <laughs> At the end of August, I think we're doing a show on the that. end of August. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take over Pam's show one night, okay. one day, one Wednesday, and so look teach at the glorified nine patch. So here are the others. These are the dies that are in our bundle, our nine inch bundle. So yes. here's Starry Path and Crossroads. Yes, let's put them right here. Like here. Okay. Here. I have another. I have another butterfly another block. Ooh, that's Imagine fun. That. Imagine that, another butterfly. So really fun design. You can work yeah. so well with it. Or the schoolhouse, the butterflies are starting fun. school today. It is. But look, think about putting them on point too. Right. Okay, and then we have a square. Yes. I want to learn how to make them wonky. Well, we're going to have to watch her I Emily's know. video for I that. Know. Okay. Yes, we have a go big nine and a half inch, nine inch finish square. It's a great partner for this right oh. little process we've got going on here. Okay, 
Now, this is only going to fit through your go big. If yes. your cutter has a handle, it will not work. That's right. Okay? But it cuts up to six layers, and it cuts those squares perfectly. Okay, so let's take one of those blocks out and see how it looks, Erica. Okay. okay. Look at how fun this is. So you can totally add some applique into the center of mm -hmm. that. In between. Right? Yes. Look at how pretty that is. How pretty. And again, we could take some of our flowers here. We could use the bees. Yes. <gasps> oh. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh. You have our bees over there. There we go. Yeah, so our little bees, we could applique in the center. No, you have the bees. I love it. I, we don't know where the bees are. They'll come we back. the bees. They flew okay. off. But don't forget that go big. It only fits in our go big, right? That's right. So if you don't have one, now's a great time to upgrade. Now, if you're getting the setting square, you want to set the setting triangles to make it yes. easy to change your projects and put your blocks on point. That's right. So let's talk about this because imagine that there's a die for it. There is. There is a setting triangle size for each size cube. Yes. Okay. So this one is for the nine inch cube it and nine inch blocks. Mm -hmm. It has a blade here. Yes. Okay. So these are for the sides. Yes. And this is for the corner. Yes. Now, the difference is going to be in how in your lengthwise grain. So you want to make sure that you've got your lengthwise grain parallel, that tight, it's the tight weave, parallel to these outside blades as it goes through the cutter because those are going to be on the outside of your quilt. And you want that outside of your quilt, you don't want that to be wonky. That's not where we're going to embrace the wonky. No. Because before we does, had setting triangles, you and I talked about this. How did we make setting triangles? Oh, we, wonky. Wonky. Um, yes, yes. I, I would I, cut a bigger square. Yes. Cut it in half. half cut it in and half just again. And randomly sewed it together. Yeah, and then trim trimmed it. Trimmed it. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't the best. But now I'm not afraid to go ahead and try out setting those blocks on point because mm -hmm. it's so easy. So we're going to lay some out so you can see. And in our trench show today, we have quite a few that are set on we point. We do. We do. You're so going to love that seeing that. That bundle is a great one to use. Yeah. If you don't have the setting triangles, those are all great dies to, to have. Okay. Give it some love. Slide, don't lift. I just did one little section. So we okay. can just do... This right here, Ugh, I get that one here. I'll let you do here, this. Let me do the side. Do the side. Do my sides. I know it's because it likes to cut six layers, quilters up to six layers. And now I just have one little string right there. Hold on. I'm gonna cut them. I'm never gonna pull them, right? Cause well, that must be it. This is kind of an anomaly here. I think we need a nude mat in the dream studio. Oh, I bet we could find one. Mm -hmm. I bet we know where they are. I bet so. All right, and I'm gonna cut this here. Hold on. I have to make sure it's truly the corner. <laughs> it just has all the these corners strings. way down at okay, the other so end. Here, yeah, I'm gonna move this, and then you can talk yeah, about. Yeah. So how see those how these fit? They they're gonna fit right in between. So the thing about putting together an on-point quilt is that you're sewing your rows together on a diagonal. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, you think, oh my gosh, does that mean I have to do a Y seam on every edge? No, you just no. sew it together on every That's side. Hang on, I'm getting it. I know, I just had to find, there you go. There's the side. It's and you know it's the right there. piece because it has it's dog eared fit corners. And it's got dog-eared corners. Here's there my go. corner and here's Shh. my corner. And again, it's gonna just sew on to the end of that row and look how that sets those pieces off and what a difference that makes. And I think that I have made several more quilts that the block is turned on point just because we have the setting triangles. And I just think about the possibilities, you know, yeah. because I know I'm confident in how it's gonna turn out. All right, but we have a whole bunch more inspiration because we have an amazing Oh, show. yes, we do. Okay, right so if you clear this off, I'm going to grab our first quilt here for okay. us. Hold, please. Hold, please. This first one is so pretty. Okay, you ready? Ready. I'm going to stand way back okay. here because it's Erica's purple color. Yep, it's my purple color. So this is the Go Butterfly in the Sky throw quilt made by Ellen Alt of Handmade 3D. And she's used Robert Kaufman fabrics. And you can't see, but the little bodies have like variegated purples and blues on it and metallic dots. 
metallic is so big. And then we've got those um, shape number one, just like we looked at the four patch from our nine inch cube. And then we've got our nine inch square there in the center. And look at the back, because the back is beautiful. Fabric. And the quilting was gorgeous. It was fabulous. All right, now the next one gives a totally different look again. And this is Under the Star Circle Quilt by our good friend Marianne Fontana from Fontana Originals. And she is Moda, which is not just for grunge. That's right. We're right. gonna hold this one back and oh, see right how pretty this one is. There we go. So this one, she's teamed it up with cubes, but she's teamed it up with some different ones. So these star blocks are made with the six, with the six, six inch, inch cube. cube because they're a nine patch. So three plus three plus three across, that's gonna give us our nine inch block. The same with that center block. But when we look at the corner one, she's also pulled the four inch cube into play to make those little tiny nine patches so that it gets that Irish chain look. Such a great way of showing you how different sizes cubes work together. Yes. Four and nine, who thought? Who thought? Okay, and look at the quilting she just stitched in the ditch. Yeah, so looks basic, beautiful. looks beautiful. Okay. All right, now the next one is, and we told you we'd have oh, something spectacular. This is the, here, this is right side yes. up. Go Glorified Butterflies Wall Hanging. This one's also by Marianne Fontana, and she's used Moda Fabrics on it. Look how that glorified nine patch makes that circular frame around right. the butterfly. look at how pretty that is. And it's in purple, so you could for sure have it. I know. I think it was such a clever use of the glorified nine patch. Really is. And really, I think typically that's the negative space in a glorified nine mm -hmm. patch. And now it creates that beautiful circle. Yeah. And look at the back, Erica, it can totally More be yours. that lavender polka dot. If it doesn't get back to you, Marianne, you'll know where it went. That's right. Lynn hasn't been on our show for a while to steal some quilts. No, she hasn't. That's why we've got them all. That's why they're here. All right. Now, the one behind us is, you want to tell us? Yes. Yeah, so this is the Go Fancy Wings Throw Quilt by Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts. Amanda. And Amanda's used Michael Miller fabrics on this. And again, she's decorated. She's used those feathers. Remember, we told you they were going to be sure. shown again. And she's used that six inch cube to make nine inch blocks. That's a shoe fly block. It's so such a traditional block, but it's such a modern looking quilt. So shoe fly, not hard at all. You just need shape one and three. There you go. And look at that amazing quilting that she did. So pretty, Amanda. She's fabulous. And look at, the, oh, look at the back. Ooh. Let me have some of this fabric. <laughs> How often Amanda. does that happen? All the all time. All the time. So we're talking about ways to change up your quilts yes. today. So we've got some alternative looks that we put together. And here's okay, the first do you slide. Love the one on the left. Oh my gosh, that black and white with the blue, it just pops. But you can see the difference of the color and the contrast. And again, like Emily was talking about, the different values of the fabric and how that comes into play. I think we've got a couple more too. Yep. See? Look at how pretty, I love the again. blue and yellow one. Now the blue and yellow one, here I feel that trellis look that I did not see mm -hmm. in the other colors. The other so two. again, it's gonna pull out, changing it up with the colors, how you lay them out is gonna change those secondary designs and it's gonna change where your eye goes. It's beautiful. All right, we have more quilts. All right, next up, we've got the spring flutter wall hanging. Okay. I love this one. Now, the, one of the best parts about this is that the background fabric has little tiny bees. Can we get a little really, really tiny, close up tiny there? little bees? Tiny bees. So this was made by Melanie Call of a bit of scrap stuff. Look, look at you, Justin. Good job. Yep. Look there at we those go. tiny bees. I absolutely love it. Like a butterfly, quilt like, like a bee. bee. And we've got butterflies again in yes. the border. And what's the alternate block she used in there? Oh. That is the cross canoes. That's another great, canoes. very versatile nine inch finish block on board. I think, did we talk about it last week? We did. Okay. 
I love yeah. it. And it's super easy. You know, the nice thing is, is this looks very complex. No, These are no. so easy. Anybody that can sew a quarter inch seam allowance, they can totally make this. And it has a stripe binding, extra points to Melanie. Extra points. And I think we've got an alternative look here to take a look at. Oh, so look at this. So here's three different colorways. Wow, look at the black and white one the black, with the solids. Yes. And then the gray, I love the gray and purple one, but yeah. boy, that black and white, the colors pop against a black background like nothing else. That's why I love modern quilters. I love that one. I would make it, instead of white, I would add more shades of purple, sorry, as we, as we look and as think we about what we're doing. As we focus on these things. All right, the next one up, this is another great one. Oh. Our good friend Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek That's Quilting. Right. So this is the Go Community Garden Wall Hanging by Terry Vandenbosch. And she used Andover fabrics for this. And we've got another nine inch block that's there. Yep. This one's gonna be built with the nine inch cube. Yes, and yeah. it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And we have to look at the quilting on this because okay. Terry custom quilted these butterflies. Look at this. And look through and the bodies and the wings. Oh my gosh. And then put beautiful different quilting in the squares. It's just stunning. I love it. All right. Absolutely stunning. I think and I think we have an alternate block for this one as well. <gasps> the one on the left is Halloween. Look, that's Halloween butterflies. Is there such a and thing? I, I don't know. There should be. But it feels like it. I should totally make kind one of Kind of wintry, frosty looking butterflies oh, and, like and go big red Husker butterflies. Football starting in a hot minute, go big red. There you go. I like that one. Okay. All right, we've got one left oh. to show you. Oh, we've got some alter. No, no, after no. this one. After this one, we've got some. Okay. We're just too busy thinking about what we we're going to do busy. next. We are too busy. Our quilting heads. So this is go flying at night throw quilt. This, this was is the pattern on the packaging. Yes, and Mary Ann Fontana designed this, and she's used motor grunge for the background in yes. that black, and then she's got some great bright prints for the butterflies. And she won totally because she used grunge. Just saying. <laughs> They're all great. wonderful. And I think that it's such a great way of saying, okay, look and let's see all the different, uh, you know, kinds of fabrics mm -hmm. you can use. You can use batiks, you can use prints, you can use patterns, you can use grunge. Right. I just think it's fabulous. Well, and the other thing, and I don't know if you'll even be able to tell, is that she quilted the background, but she left the, the butterfly body mm -hmm. unquilted so that it really pops. It almost makes it look puffy on the front of the quilt. Puffy. Puffy. There you go. Three dimensional. All right, now we have alternative graphics. So look how different it is with that blue yeah, print in the background. That. I like that one. I do too. And I think we have one more. Go big red. And here we go. Look at the contrast between the bright red background versus the white. Wow. Just really makes a difference. And they're both great too. Colorways. So all of these patterns for the, for the trunk show samples are available as free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. You want to be sure and get those patterns downloaded before your die arrives so you're ready to go. All right, using a different colorway is one way to transform your quilts. But early in the show, we ask you, how do you change up your quilts to make them different? Okay, so before we read the answers that producer Joe brought us. Right, and colorway is a great way of doing that. Yes. Um, for me, all quilts in 2022 have a stripe binding. Yes, yes. But think about sashing and cornerstones. I don't often think about that. No, but adding that makes a whole different look. And of course, setting them on point yes. is gonna yes. make a difference. And it also makes a difference. You could do a wider binding, right. borders make a difference. Flange binding. Flange binding. There are so many different ways. And even just how you quilt it will make a difference. And we saw some of that in the trunk show. Well, since we had no voting poll, you had to let us know your answers in the comment section wherever you stream our show. And we, Joe polled some responses for us. So we're going to see what people have to say. Okay, so Brenda and Bobby all say it's all about the color. It is all about the color. Right, right. Now, Beth says, this is interesting. Beth C says, turn it on point and limit the color. That's an interesting... So, so as a modern quilter, I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I'll just do black and white or... Or do a monochromatic or that gradated mm -hmm. color. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Carol says scraps make personal gifts unique. I love that. Oh, Carol, 
Carol, you should make sure you watch yes. Auntie M. She's going to show you how to crumb quilt. Yes. All right. And Roxy H says, changes the direction and color, adds texture or the illusion of it. Oh, I, that's a good idea. I think that's yeah. great. I, and Cheryl here goes with the flow with her quilts and uses embroidery um, like Nancy loves ice cream and other personal things about the recipient. Oh, that's that is great a great idea. idea with those those open setting blocks, those yes. setting squares. Then that leaves you the you can put names and dates. You could do so sure. many things to personalize it. That's a great idea. Thank you for your comments. Yes. All right, quilters, it's time to give away our final prize of the day. Let's say thank you one more time to one of our amazing quilters. That's right. The second winner of a Go Butterfly piece, nine inch finish die is, drum roll please. Gloria F. from Montano, Illinois. Congratulations, Congratulations. Gloria, you're gonna love it. All right, quilters, if you're like the, us and always looking for more inspiration, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, we're going to go over strip dye magic. Yes. And how to create amazing borders. We're going to refer to that amazing Eleanor Burns book. Outside of the box. Outside the box. All okay. right. So be sure to register for the show on the events page for the chance to win an exciting door prize. It's going to be so educational. We're going to have tons of fun. Hope to see you there. All right, now be sure to join us again this Friday. What? Yes, yes. Friday. Really Friday. August 11th at 12 noon Central. Or Friday. August 19th. August 19th. All right, August 19th for a special event called On the Go Trip to Long Beach, California. You took my words. I, all of them. All, of all them. right, quilters, we're going to be giving you a virtual look at our experience at the Long Beach Quilt Festival. It was amazing. That's right. Now, we'll even have some footage to share of some of the quilt exhibits that were there. And it was tons of fun. We can hardly wait to share it with you. All right, it is going to be hard to wait to join in our excitement. But today, we do have something exciting that we can share. It's those Go Butterfly piece nine inch die bundles that's true these great deals are definitely need to be shared to get your order now open up a new tab in your browser type in accuquilt.com party to see the bundles and place your order now our first bundle is the go butterfly piece nine inch finish die with mat bundle that comes with the butterfly die and the six by 24 cutting mat this bundle's perfect for beginners who want to try out a great bob die then there's the Go Block and Board Favorites die bundles with some of our favorites in there. Four dies, two cutting mats. Grabbing this bundle will let you easily combine different blocks. And it's really a cool way to answer today's questions about changing up yes. your quilts. Yes. And if you snag one of these bundles or place any order today, you're going to earn double reward points that you can use towards future AccuQuilt purchases. And don't forget, we have financing options. For more details, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, well, apparently Eric and I need to go get ready for our show on Friday. Yes. We hope you've enjoyed seeing what the buzz was all about with our new Permanent Go Butterfly Pieced 9-inch finish die. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you've been waiting for the show to end before you buy, now is the time. Here's your link. Get everything you want while it's still available. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut like a butterfly. Quilt like a bee. We'll see you Friday. Bye-bye.